What's up guys, Steve Chen here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I installed this trailer hitch, the wiring harness, and the cover panel, all together by myself on my 2024 MDX Super Handling all-wheel drive. This is a base model. That means it doesn't come with the hand-free access tailgate sensor here. So it's much easier to install. That said, the dealer still want to charge me 1000 for labor. The parts, all the three parts, I will put the part number and link in the description. I got them shipped to my house like a $500 or so. So I just don't want to pay the dealer for that 1000 labor because I can do it by myself. Let me show you how I get it done. So first step, you get this wrench and uh, lower the spare tire to the ground like here and then you'll find this one here and here on each side in total six so for this one it's very simple like you just push it from the top and it pops out this one you need a wrench and the same for the other one same for both sides. After removing the six bolts, it should be relatively easy to pop this piece out. All right. Okay, now we have the bumper piece off so we can install the trailer hitch. From the six holes, as you can see, on each side there's three holes for you to put the bolts in. So after installing these six bolts and make sure the hitch itself is leveled and uh, centered, we start the harness part with this piece. Slide it in and use the bolt to secure it onto the hitch. So there are two holes, different size, matching the two different bolts. You can't get it wrong. Now that we have this piece secured to the hitch, we want to fit this harness through the hole underneath the car but before doing that we want to make sure we can reach the other side from here so what we're gonna do is remove this whole piece so we need the sharp thing to get this plastic piece off let's see Ah, make sure you don't hurt yourself. This is the piece. And then we can remove the ah, this piece. Okay, you start from the bottom piece. That's easier. Okay, hear that? Yeah. Just do it gently, slowly. Okay. Almost done. One last piece. Okay. Okay, got the whole piece off. You can see this is where you need to pull. Then you can reach it from here. This is the hole we want to pull from the other side and fit the harness through, get it connected to the other piece. So now we remove this plastic piece. Okay, so we can fit the harness from his hole. Like here. So for this 
piece, you want to make sure it fits in the right position so it doesn't move up or down. So you can make sure the water doesn't go in. Okay, you can see it fits right in that position. You cannot move it, right? Pull it or push it, doesn't move. That's right, that's the right position. And this is what it looks like from top view. So it's sealed very well. The water cannot get through. So the next step, we attach the urethane tape to the piece here. Like we need to cut it and tape it here. Like that, we put this piece here and slide it in like this. It's not that easy. You have to want to push it flat and slide it in. It's good. The two relays, you can't get it wrong. Right, and then the clip, which is this piece here, and make sure put it from the right direction here, slide it in, very simple. Now it's time to connect the two pieces of harness. You can't get wrong. So there's only everything is like a one female, one male. There's only one way of getting connected. And this existing piece, as you can see, you remove the cover from here and uh, put this piece right there. Okay, and then this piece should be here, as you can see here, right? And then the last piece here, where's the, the other one? Oh, here, right here, on to Plug it in first. And then this is where you want to put everything together, the ground it. Okay, then we put this piece right here. See, there's a hole. Right here. And this one goes behind, behind the wires. Like here, see it? And they put the bolts in to ground it. Okay, according to the instructions, let's put one wire tie here. And then the rest three will be here, attaching this wire harness to the original harness. And then we cut this 
wires Now we remove the rear fuse box lead gently and according to the instruction we put the four fuses where it should be there are two 10 amps and two 20 amps the 10 is on the right the first right one let's put it in Okay, and uh, another 10 is here. Now this is the only one left that I can put it in. The two 20s, first one is here. And the next one is here. Among these six on the rightmost one. And that's it. Put the lid back on. According to the instructions, they want to put the wire tie one here to the original vehicle harness and one here to the hitch. So let's put them on. So it doesn't move too much. Okay, let's cut the wires. To reinstall the panel cover, first you put this side in and you use the flexibility of the plastic, slide the other side in. And then the most difficult part is here. You can see these pieces, you need to fit it through and they have to bend it to make it into those holes. And the, the long piece on the end is the most difficult part. But uh, I think it's doable. Since we know the principle, I think it's easier to do it from the outside. Like push it here and try to reach it from here and push it in right this is much easier now we need to put the bolts back in and the two plastic self-lock pin so you will still need this piece on either side to put it on the new panel cover what i find out easy to do is to use the flathead screwdriver and push it off easily and then you slide it in, in this direction. And use the bolt to secure it here. Same for the other side. And at last, you want to use the plastic piece. Make sure you don't start from here. You cannot fit it in. You push it. Uh, here so it's like it's not open so it's closed small enough to get through and then you push it in okay and then you cut this piece out with a sharp knife I believe it's easier to do it before you install it so I guess I have to do it in a difficult way that said I found it almost impossible to cut it like this but instead you can try to step it in like this okay make sure you have all the six self-tied uh, 
pin on and then put it back in it's much easier to put it back on make sure you put the rubber piece on top of the plastic piece that you just uh, installed to make sure it's watertight right here okay make sure it locks in all the six self-lock pin is in place and then install this piece back it's this way okay Lift the spare tire clockwisely. Make sure it's tight and secure. Okay, and then put this piece back in position. Put it back on, lock it. And this piece goes back to its original position here. Okay, all done. Protection piece on. Now you have a installed OEM piece with all the harness, the cover, and the hitch. As you can see, this is a seven pin receiver. Like this. In order to connect my four pin trailer, I have to use a converter here convert the 7 pin into 4 pins and let's plug it in and test it out basically you can test it with the emergency light and the tail light should be good emergency light it's good well, let's try the tail light it's good thank you guys for watching i hope you guys find it helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions and i'll catch you in the next video